How's it going everybody? Thought I'd give you an update on what I've been doing. Some people have been asking and I am working on rolling out a whole new version of software, if that's what you call it. And the biggest change we're doing is switching to thermistors instead of a thermal couple. And this new one's going to actually support four thermistors, one for the pit, as our pit thermistor here, and then three meat probes. And these thermistors are just replacement probes for a really common uh, meat thermometer you can buy for grilling. And this original case I have is actually stripped down to nothing but the screen now and the voltage regulator. And uh, here's a project I'm working on for a friend. We're getting it all in clay closed in a nice case. And this one's going to be electric, has solid state relays. And this will be the next rollout is we're going to put this on a particle photon so it will have Wi-Fi and we're hoping to set up a nice blink app to control it and it's also going to have a 20 by 4 screen instead of the smaller 16 by 2. <clears throat> Got some 3D printed board holders I made here and everything's going to fit real nicely inside of this case. Have an antenna. And the electric actually has been working really well. We've done some testing with it. And that's the version I have on here now. This one, new one I roll out is going to have all three versions on one, so it's a little less confusing. You can just uncomment what you actually want to use. And we could just, right now I have the electric one on here. And I have some lights to indicate. That's the heating light. So these, on the electric version, the output pulses within like a 10 second span, a percentage, and it's pretty similar. And if we run through the menu here, we can actually, up and down, we'll turn on different probes. I don't have the third one connected right now, but you can turn them all off or turn on one. And the reason for that is the next menu, we can set an alarm temperature. So say once my meat probes get up to 175, and then the number one there tells me which probe I have turned on at the time. Once the alarm gets to 175, then uh, there's a red light that'll turn on and let me know that my meat's done. We could also hook a buzzer up to it maybe or some type of uh, motor with a flag, something that'd be easier to see in a sunny day. I still have the EEPROM settings. I'll probably end up putting the alarm value into the EEPROM as well. And then we got a smoke element. So you see here we're running two solid state relays. One of them is for the main heat and then one of them is going to be an element. And we found it worked really well to put the heating element inside of say a Dutch oven or something and cover it up. And then you can really control the smoke well. And let's see turn this up here and we can see that light, but you can control the smoke really well without getting too much heat into your smoker. So running something colder like fish is pretty much a breeze, no control. Kind of takes the fun out of the hobby, but then there's the other versions if you want that as well. And still have all of our other settings and those can be taken out once you figure out how your smoker is set up nicely. But Let's say we're going to, just for testing purposes, I'll set that to 120. And no matter what screen you're on at the time, we go ahead and heat up one of these probes. Take a little bit. The screen should automatically jump over. And make a liar out of me now. There it is. Screen jumps over and says food's done. It takes you to that original screen. And then we have then we have a blinking red light. And then the up and down arrow will reset this. But currently the temperature's higher, so I run the temperature up high and it resets. 
and go back to our temperature readout for that probe and it's 142 and it's been working out really well I have lots of good directions on the sketch if you guys decide you want to do this I will make a video for the different versions as well the servo as well as the fan I have a fan version so all three versions I'll kind of show you guys what you need to do it is really simple you just have some outputs now all the buttons are simplified to pull up resistors we made a lot of extra pins available taking out the thermocouple setup and these thermocouples are a hundred thousand ohms so the matched resistor is a hundred thousand lots of good directions on the sketch I tried to make it pretty easy to understand and it's a really simple setup if you guys decide you want to do this yourself so enjoy